amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, my amendment will ensure that Americans continue to have access to life-saving care through Planned Parenthood. House Republicans have engaged in a shameful and irresponsible smear campaign against Planned Parenthood. Not because there's any evidence that this safety net provider has done anything wrong, but simply because the majority opposes a woman's constitutional right to choose. I can speak firsthand about how feckless, how untruthful, how ineffectual their so-called investigation into Planned Parenthood was last year. As a member of the House Select Investigative Panel, I endured 15 months of unsubstantiated allegations and accusations leveled by House Republicans who wasted more than a million and a half taxpayer dollars to carry out their extreme anti-choice agenda without finding a shred of actual evidence. Throughout the process, the panel repeatedly showed contempt for the facts and disdain for the truth. Their final report was riddled with falsehoods and fabrications designed to limit women's health care options and restrict medical research. Now, Speaker Ryan and House Republicans are attempting to use this sham report to defund Planned Parenthood, a blatantly partisan and ideological attack on women and families. Let's be clear about the facts. The panel found no evidence of illegal activity by Planned Parenthood just like the 17 other federal and state investigations into the doctored videos released by anti-choice extremists in 2015. But what we do know is that two and a half million Americans receive essential health care every year through Planned Parenthood. 78% of Planned Parenthood patients are low income with incomes at or below 150% of the federal poverty level. In my home state and Mr. Reichert's home state of Washington, Planned Parenthood annually provides more than 34,000 cancer screenings. And across the country, the services provided by Planned Parenthood help prevent more than 500,000 unintended pregnancies every year. It's time for the never-ending attacks on women's health to stop once and for all. Politicians have no place interfering in a woman's most personal medical decisions, including decisions about when to get and where to get her health care. Planned Parenthood clinics provide a vital safety net for millions of women and men across the country. Defunding them will do nothing but harm our nation's most vulnerable, particularly those in rural and underserved communities. I urge my colleagues to vote yes on this important amendment, and I yield back. The gentlelady's time has expired. Does the gentleman wish to continue to reserve his point of order?